everybody, this morning, cool morning, but beautiful morning, I am in Plainfield, Indiana, and actually right here behind me, see a little sign on the road, I'm in Anderson Park, and Plainfield Skate Park is right behind me. And I'm here this morning to really talk about the number one reason that I would absolutely consider living in Plainfield. So we're gonna get into some detail about that in this video, stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton with the Compton Home Group. Welcome back to the channel. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Indianapolis or a place like this, Plainfield, Indiana, or any of the cities and towns that surround Indianapolis, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also tap the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. Now we have people reaching out to us from all over the country with questions about, of course, Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis is the big city around here. It's 900,000 people or so. But places like this, Plainfield, Indiana, this is a town just to the southwest. People don't know that much about a place like Plainfield and if it could be an option for them or any of the cities and towns that surround Indianapolis for that matter. So if you have questions at all about any place in Indy or surrounding Indianapolis, then make sure you reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have you back with those questions and we'll certainly have you back when it comes time for you to make your move to the Indy Metro. So again, this morning, on a really super sunny morning. I'm in Plainfield, Indiana, and I'm walking down the White Lick Creek Trail. And the reason it's called that is because Plainfield has a creek that runs, and it is brutally sunny here, so if I'm closing my eyes, excuse me, try to get in the shade of some of these trees, and it's cool too, actually. It's kind of in the 50s, and not kind of in the 50s, it's in the 50s and a little bit breezy. So I got a jacket on this morning, but White Lick Creek runs for the most part, north-south on the western end or kind of the westernish portion of Plainfield. And this video is about the number one reason why I would live in Plainfield. And it's also a reason that a lot of people live in Plainfield. At least it's a huge benefit for them. So White Lake Creek is a big part of this. Now, when you go along a creek or a river, and White Lake Creek is not just a tiny little creek that you can jump over. You need a bridge to get across it. So it's big enough to where it has enough water in it, water all the time. Of course, it goes up and down some. And when it goes up with any river or stream or creek, there's always concern about flooding. You don't get a lot of flooding in the Indianapolis area. You gotta be really close to a body of water to do that. But outside of the creek, of course, there's some floodway, some flood zone. And that land, for the most part, is undeveloped and can't be developed as far as housing is concerned or commercial buildings. So what Plainfield has done over the years is they've created this linear park system. So if you look in research playing field a little bit that actually called a linear park system all along that creek so when you get a flood zone and you can't put a housing development there or a commercial building of any kind next best thing to do is to put a park there and so that's exactly what they've done along the creek and i just left this anderson park right down the trail and i'm walking along the white lick creek trail down to hummel park and i can see hummel park coming up here around the curve in this road so there are multiple parks right along the creek and they all have different things to offer so some of them have tons of baseball fields or you can find soccer fields you can of course find playgrounds you can find big open areas like i'm walking past right here we've got plainfield middle school just right up here and of course there's a lot associated with that there's a couple elementary schools here along the way too and then you've got Plainfield High School just to the south of where I am and over to the east just a little bit. Now, all of these parks, what's also unique about it is what I'm walking on here right now, the trails. So this would be the number one reason that I would love to live in Plainfield. We don't live, my family and I, we don't live in Plainfield only because the location doesn't work for us. Now, my wife works in a location we want to be close to, so that puts us east of Indianapolis. Honestly, Plainfield for us, this is a long drive. And we'll go to Splash Island, and actually you can take this trail right up to Splash Island, which is a super sweet outdoor water park that a lot of people, of course, in Plainfield use and people around Indianapolis use. We'll drive from where we are, and that could take definitely a good 45, 50 minutes, depending on traffic, maybe close to an hour to get to. Way east, all the way here to the west to visit it just because it is so cool. But that's along this trail here as well. And so what I'm getting at, the number one reason, what makes it so unique, and there's really no other town like this around Indianapolis, is that the trail system and park system here through Plainfield is so well connected. So this trail here goes north-south right along the creek 
and it can get you to pretty much any of the major parks that you have in Plainfield. Now, it's a little misleading when I say the word trail. A lot of people think trail should be this wooded, super private walkway, run on it or ride your bike on it, that type of thing. But obviously, this is next to a road, but it's still a trail. So it's essentially a sidewalk, but it's obviously a lot safer than being over here on the road riding your bike or walking or running. I've got a space to do this and I can take this trail pretty much from the northern edge of Plainfield to the southern edge of Plainfield. But then there are also trails that connect to this one to get you to the western portion of Plainfield and all the way to the eastern portion of Plainfield. There's a perimeter trail system and then there are trails going through Plainfield as well. So you could live in a neighborhood Kind of like this one right over here. This one's not a new neighborhood. This one's older. These homes have been here since these are all probably 50s, 60s style homes. Obviously, this road connects right here to this trail. You could get on your feet or on your bike with your kids or on your own or with your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, and get to Hummel Park, Anderson Park, Splash Island, a number of the schools in this area too. Not that that's perfect for families where you could ride your bike to school or walk to school. You may still be a good distance from a school, but there's likely a trail close to your neighborhood. Now that's not absolutely broad and everywhere, at all, but you can have a number of neighborhoods. So if you're looking at a home, you're looking at a neighborhood and you're thinking, well, is that connected to a trail? I can't really tell. Reach out. I am happy to actually walk you in to figure out if that neighborhood is close to a trail. And if you're close to a trail in Plainfield, the number one reason, again, that I love this place and would absolutely consider living here is because if you're close to a trail in Plainfield, then you're connected to all of them which is super rare. There are other trails that can have throughout Indianapolis. Famous one, the one that most people are aware of and know is the Monon Trail. The Monon Trail is long. It's close to 30 miles long. Originates downtown Indianapolis and it goes north through Indianapolis, through Carmel, through Westfield and north of Westfield. And there's plans to expand it beyond that for sure. But it's absolutely north-south and there are some trails connecting neighborhoods or different parts around the Monon. So like for example you in Westfield there are some trails there that you can get over to the Monon but they're a little more limited. Sometimes you have to drive to a trailhead. Sometimes you've got to maybe ride your bike on some roads to get over to where that trail is. They're not as accessible. Now Plainfield is a town of only 35,000 people so it's not super tiny but it's also not gigantic and they've really just taken advantage of the size that they have here in the town and the unique geography with White Lake Creek going north to south and all of the land that really couldn't be used for development and made it into essentially a giant playground for everybody that lives here and anybody that visits. Now, is it absolutely outrageous? Is it like Yosemite or Rocky Mountain National Park or anything like that? No, it's not, but it's still a park system. It has a place that you can go and your kids play baseball, your kids play soccer, kids play softball, adults play softball. If you wanna just go to the park for the afternoon, you wanna ride your bike a little bit, not a 20 mile ride, but Let's say you want to ride a mile or so with your kids. You have a lot of options to do that here. So that's the number one reason why I would absolutely consider living in a place like Plainfield. The park system is really well thought out and the trail system is so unique, so cool, and so connected. I just love that about Plainfield. And I think a lot of people that live here, they certainly love that too. So if you have any questions about Plainfield, the trail system, the park system, and any place that might be close to something, where you can access this pretty easily, then reach out and we'll catch you in the next one.